Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, good. So yesterday we did some commands in the Linux environment, right? If we go and try to see the history, so these are the commands what we executed yesterday. So history will tell you what are the things we executed, everything we able to see it. I given some homework. Follow the learning path, Microsoft learning path and completing the uh, Linux, right? Anyone got chance to visit that one? If no, don't worry, at least try today. OK, right now we have here something else today we need to cover. Let's try to open yesterday. Uh, Linux first, let me take it. So yesterday as part of the Linux commands, so these are the things. We covered. Right till here we covered. Even we know Linux files we need to cover today. I given homework yesterday. I'm not sure you come you complete or not. There's a reason I would like to go through this one within another five or ten minutes. Then we'll go for the Hadoop commands, HDFS location. Now we have here Linux files. That means how we can create one empty file. OK, creating contents inside inside that one. Then removing it, copying the files, moving the files, renaming the files. OK, those things we'll try to understand as part of this one. Let me go to VM. Now I am in the VM. So how to see the present working directory? How to see the present working directory? What is the command? PWD. PWD. So this is where we are. How to see files which are available inside the folder? Files are folders, whatever content. LS. LS. Yeah, LS I or can. we can write here LTRH. Now we have here one file that known as parameter file.json and one folder that is called as country. In the beginning, if you see the D that stands for a directory, if you see the iPhone that stands for file. D means directory, iPhone means it is a file that simply you can identify the given thing is a file or it is a folder. Now I have here parameter file dot JSON is available. Somehow I'm asking you to copy this file from here to country folder. I'm asking you to copy it. How we can do that one? We can write here CP command. If you want to see the help document of that one, you can go ahead and you can see the help also. So CP is useful for copying the files. CP is useful for copying the files. Copy source to destination. You can able to copy it. You can copy multiple sources to one directory also. You can able to copy it. OK, so let us go and try to do this one. We want to see again LS. That is what are the things are available. We can able to observe it. LS iPhone LTRH. Now I would like to copy this file, whatever available parameter file. Parameter file into the country folder. I want to copy it. Just try to enter. Now if you go and try to observe inside the country folder, what we have then you can observe here inside the country folder we have here a file that file is called as parameter file dot json so are you able to copy the file or not they're able to copy the file right so if i want to if i want to copy multiple files then what are going to do for example we are trying to create here one more file with the name of touch uh, let us say I'm creating test dot JSON. Test dot JSON we are writing here. So now if you go and try to observe, we have two files. One is parameter file dot JSON. Second is test dot JSON is available. These two files I want to move it. These two files I want to move. How I can do that? So we can say I simply copy. 
Okay, into the folder. Let's let me create one directory also just for our understanding. I'm trying to create here one directory called as D1. Now I'm trying to copy here whatever we have JSON files. Whatever we have JSON files, I want to copy into D1 directory. I want to copy. Okay, now if we go and try to observe what we have inside the D1 directory, let us see here how many files are available. Parameter file dot JSON as well as test dot JSON is available. You can use here star star meaning here all the JSON files copy from this location to D1 directory we said. OK, right. What happens if I'm trying to copy file same location to same location? What will happen? For example, I want to take the backup. This parameter file dot JSON, I want to take the backup. Then I can I can do like this parameter file underscore PKP 2024. Then we can provide we can provide uh, with today's date. We can go ahead and we can provide it, right? So we are going for 03, then 15. OK, with today's name, we are trying to copy it. Let's see here LS. Now we have the parameter file dot JSON as it is. And we take in the backup now parameter file underscore BKP underscore YYY MMDD format. I given the today's date. So that must simply we are able to copy it. OK. Now, similar to the copy, we have the move MV. Then go and try to see the help document of MV. Now, MV stands for MV stands for moving the files from one folder to another folder. For example, source to destination, you want to move it. Okay, move multiple sources also to the directory, like star JSON. How I kept it similarly that one. It's kind of cut and paste. Previously, CP whatever available, it's kind of copy and paste. CP is C stands for copy, P stands for paste. You can take like that even. Okay, copy and paste. This is movies, movies kind of control X. Okay, cut and paste, cut and paste. So let us go and try to do the cut and paste. For example, I have here in this location, these are the files are available. These are the files are available. What happens if I go and try to say whatever we have here test.json, test.json, I'm trying to say as test underscore BKP 2024, then 03, then 15.json we return. Same location to same location where we are moving it, it is equal to renaming. For example, if I try to see now LS, are you seeing now test file? Are you seeing now test file? No, the test file itself is renamed as test underscore BKP. That is the reason this move is also called as here. What is this? Renaming, renaming. Renaming may be in the same location. Renaming may be different location. If you're copying file, from one location to another location that also called as actually renaming with respect to system. OK, now if you go and try to uh, if you go and try to move this file into some other location, let's try to move it. For example, I want to move this test file, whatever available into D1 directory. Now observe LS. Are you seeing now test backup? No, we are not seeing it because that is moved out. Now, if you want to copy multiple files, you want to copy. You can go ahead and you can do it by saying simply move. Then we are saying as star dot JSON into the directory called as D1. So it's saying as looks like there is a some file is available already. You want to override that file. That's what is asking. Say yes, so that it is going to be overwritten. Now it's overwritten. That means n number of files. If you want to move it, you can able to move it by typing air mv star dot json like that. At any point of time, if you want to see the content of any one file, you can go ahead and you can see the content of the file. For example, now I am in this folder d1 directory. I want to see in the parameter file dot json what is the content available. You can verify that content like this. 
cat parameter file dot json inside this dictionary we have one dictionary that has src tzt is a key and this is again one more dictionary this has key and value key and value key and value something like that we may be using this one in the engineering part this file we have to take it and we have to load into this table something like that we are going to use it as part of the engineering anyhow now we have the cat cat is useful to see the content what we have inside the file that's it these are the three things which are pending in yesterday's chapter uh, let us go and try to verify once <coughs> Remove already explained, so I did not worry about it. Cat is the one I yesterday pending, and CP is the one it's pending, it's completed, and MV is the one. Those things are complete. Anyone, anything is pending in these commands now? No, right? Almost all we completed. Almost all we completed. Please practice it. If you feel like something is not understanding, please let me know. I am here to help you out. With this, I can say Linux commands completed. However, we are not going to apply our profile as a Linux administrator or, or pure Linux resource, right? How we are using your Windows operating system. Similarly, we are going to use Linux operating system. That's it. All you need to know is Windows operating system how we are using. Similarly, we are going to use in Linux operating system. That means how to create the folders, how to create the files, how to copy the files, how to move the files, how to delete the folders, this kind of stuff how we are doing the Windows. Similar stuff you should be able to do in the Linux also. That much of capability you should get it. I hope you received that much of capability. Even, even to make your life a bit simplified, some people feel like, okay, Linux commands means it's a boring job. Do I have any user interface to do the same task? Creating the folders, copying the files, moving the files to have any user interface. Yes, we do have the user interface also. That user interface is called as WinSCP software. We have a software. That software is called as WinSCP software. WinSCP software. So this WinSCP software using this one we can connect to the some linux mission we can able to connect it once you connect it left side we see the, our local mission right side we see the linux mission if you want to copy files from linux mission to local local to linux mission just you can drag and drop it there is no need of any commands and all and inside the linux mission you want to copy somewhere else also you can able to do it those all things are possible using win scp i'm going to explain this one down the line at this point of time leave this We'll focus on the commands only. We'll try to focus. Now, with this, we are good with the Linux. Let us move on to the next chapter that is called as HDFS commands. Let me take that as separate recording.